Hi everyone, this is Neha again. So topic for today's uh, video is Active Directory Domains and Trust. If we talk in short, uh, this is a window or a snap-in on a domain controller or on a server on which our set tool is installed. Now what is our set tool? Uh, we'll discuss it in different video. Uh, so uh, here, let's just let's just understand that it's a it's a snap-in on which you can go ahead and see exactly the structure of your domain. Structure means is what forest you actually belong to, what tree you actually belong to, what is the name of your domain. All this information is available on this area domains and trust snap-in. Now before we move ahead about this snap-in and see all those structure I'm talking about, what exactly is this? So if we talk about basics here, what is domain actually? What is forest? What is tree? So what is all these basics we always hear about? I mean, if we talk about an active directory person or to a server manager, we, we always heard hear about these terms. Wherein what is domain or this is this belongs to this forest or this belongs to this tree. What exactly does that mean? So for today, we are going to discuss these five points in a little explained manner what exactly it is and how does it actually work for us so let's start with the first topic for us which is what is active directory domain so i have all, uh, already mentioned in my previous video what is active directory actually it's a container in which we have put in all the objects like users computers and printers and devices and so on and so forth so here I have made a container, just defining the same. I have only kept two objects here, users and computers. Servertechnosolution.com is actually the domain which I have prepared uh, for the videos specifically. So Server Techno Solution is the name of the domain or exactly a territory in which we have everything. So domain means a territory. If we go to a, a, a dictionary and try to figure out the name of uh, you know what is the meaning of domain we'll figure out it's actually a territory controlled by either person or either by a specific set of people or a governing body that means domain so same goes with the active directory so it's a container where not everyone can go ahead and look into it there is a it must be one person or it must be a set of people who would be managing that so that is in in short that is what we call active directory domain, a set of area, a limited space. Or we can call it, uh, they call it a collection of objects. Now what is forest? It's a game, it's a boundary. Now what does exactly forest mean? Forest is a place wherein we see there are lots of trees available, there are lots of animals, but here in active directory, We'll only talk about trees. So, one place where we have lots of trees is actually called forest. So, let's say we have different domains. So, we have a domain, server, techno, solution. Next one is server, techno. And the third one is server, solution. All this can reside in one place. And that one place is called forest. So under one forest, we can have different trees or different domains. That is what we call forest. It's again a boundary wherein uh, the king of the forest, that is called enterprise admin. Enterprise admin actually goes ahead and can manage each and every tree. So it's a lion king for us for the forest. It's the highest hierarchy. So let's say when we go to Active Directory and whatever we install for the first time on a server, on a Windows server, that becomes the root domain and the name of the forest. So let's say I get a server, which is any machine like a 2012 R2 machine or Windows Server 2008 R2 machine and I install Active Directory on that with the name servertechnosolution.com so servertechnosolution.com will be my forest name after that I can 
I can just go ahead and install as many domains as I want. That is a different scenario, a longer, broad picture of it. So, forest is a boundary of an organization. It's the highest level of hierarchy of all the active directory environment. Discuss forest. So, we have discussed that. I'll show you that in my lab also after discussing these other points here. So, this is actually something which I wanted to show you how a tree looks like. So, let's say I have promoted servertechnosolution.com as the first domain. After that, I figure out there is a need of uh, creating another domain. Now, there are prerequisites to it that why we need it or what we need it, we'll discuss it later on. Just for the idea, I've promoted another domain that is called child.servertechno.com. Below that, I have, I need it, I needed it. So I just gone ahead and uh, promoted one more domain, which is, I mean, here I mentioned child one again, we can give it, <laughs> we can give it another name, which is child two, let's say. So that's how we create a tree. So the first thing is called root. After that, whatever we create is either called a child domain or either we can call several branches. I am going to call it a child domain here. So what is Active Directory Tree? It is a group of domain holding lots of domain branches within it. So it's not necessary. We just create a domain below the previous domain. It can be other domains also. So next to Server Techno Solution, we can have another tree or I would say domain, not tree, but domain that is called server.com, let's say. So that is going to be another branch of this tree. And that's what we call Active Directory tree. So let's try to understand what we have discussed till now. If we talk about only servertechnosolution.com, we are talking about one domain. If we talk about several branches within it, which is let's say we talk about server techno solution, child.servertechnosolution.com and next to it we promote another domain that is called server.com, it becomes a tree. And under a boundary, we have several trees like that, that is called servertechnosolution.com or so on and so forth and we have so many trees within a forest that becomes a forest. Now it's not necessary to have lots of domains within a forest. There can be only one domain and we still call it a forest. So even if we have only one domain or one tree, it's still a forest. The forest name will be the first name of the domain or the first domain which we promote. In our case, it is servertechnosolution.com. So as I mentioned, branches of the domain follows the name of the root domain. So as you can see here, child.1 has servertechnosolution.com as the name, which is the root domain's name. So it always has the root domain name at the end of the other branches. Now what is Active Directory Trust? So guys, it's again a long topic. So as I don't want a very big video for us to go ahead and figure out what exactly what is that. So I'm just going to prepare next video on this and uh, we'll actually discuss what actually Active Directory Trust is. So I'm just going to show you the domain and trust snap in in this video. So let's go ahead and open it up. Hi guys. So this is actually the domain which I have promoted that is servertechnosolution.com. So this is the snap-in that is called Active Directory Domains and Trust, which tells me exactly what is the current forest name. So in our case, we have techno, servertechnosolution.com. We right click on it, go to properties, and it actually tells me the name of the uh, domain. What is the domain function level or forest function level? This is something which we'll discuss in different video. We can right click on the active directory domains and trust. 
go to properties and while you click on that it says change forest as soon as you click on that it tells you the name of the root domain so right now we have only one domain in our forest and that's the reason it is showing us uh, this name however even if i'll go ahead and promote different other domains or trees within this forest and i right click on it and click on change forest it will still show me this name because this is the first domain of this forest so this is it for this video guys and in next video we'll discuss our uh, point which we left which is called what is active directory trust so um link for active directory trust will be provided in the uh, description of this video so keep following that and uh, thanks for watching this video guys i'll make sure that i'll keep preparing these kind of videos for you so that you guys can keep learning and keep growing so happy learning guys subscribe subscribe to this channel like this video make sure while you subscribe the channel there is a bell bell icon next to it click on that so that you will get to know about my new video as soon as i upload it so thanks for watching this have a nice day guys bye bye